Hey guys, this is going to be a quick video, but I want to talk about uh, some questions that a lot of viewers asked me and I'm going to answer that question in this video about what kind of colors you should be using for psychology reasons. Now, when you visit a website, you don't really know it or not, but your brain subliminally starts to kind of like work depending on what kind of colors they actually see. Now, I know that sounds a little strange, but there is a lot of psychology behind websites and colors. So I found this article right here. In fact, I shared this article uh, a few months ago because I thought it was uh, a great article. In fact, uh, when I when I read the article, I'm like, wow, that is me. You know, that is virtually true. And they talk about the personality of colors and also what kind of colors that women like and what kind of colors men like, even if they don't like they don't know uh, subconsciously they like or dislike those colors. So for example, right here, if you're running like a wealth website or something with like you know, nature or tranquility, they prefer a green website. Now, a great example of that right here is LoanMe.com. LoanMe.com is a loan website, and here you can kind of see how they introduce green color schemes on their website. When you hover over something, it's green, and they have a lot of green icons, and this deals with money. Same thing with LendingTree. LendingTree is also a website that deals with loans, business loans, and other products, and you can kind of see how they've introduced a green, yet also a sense of blue. And the blue psychology is kind of a trust factor. It's like, we want you to trust us. Have you ever gone to Capital One or Chase? Have you ever seen Capital One or Chase? You can see they introduce a lot of blue colors on their website because the blue color indicates that they're trustworthy. The red color indicates kind of a, a sense of urgency. Like, um, you know, go ahead and, and check us out and buy it. Now, uh, hold on for that minute because I want to show you uh, another reason about the red color and how it's really used in conjunction with yellow. Now this right here is yellow. Now yellow represents youthful optimism and cheerfulness. You know, it's like uh, McDonald's, it's yellow, right? But look what McDonald's does. McDonald's combines it with red, which is a sense of urgency. So basically they're trying to say like urgency, energy, excitement, you know? So they're trying to get you to have a urgency, yet also have a cheerfulness about their website. And if you look at McDonald's, they use a yellow and a red color. And it's very, uh, it's very interesting because uh, it's true. When you see these red buttons, you're thinking of sense of urgency, like, oh, I want to click on it, I want to buy it. But the yellow kind of indicates like, oh, it's McDonald's, you know, they're nice, they're trustworthy, I like them, they're fun, they're delicious. Now, Wells Fargo introduces the same exact concept. So they kind of got away from the uh, blue scheme and they're trying to say, we're going to go for the McDonald's scheme right here by having a yellow and red. So the red, again, is like the sense of urgency. And then yellow is like more of an inviting thing. Like, oh, you know, come over here. Uh, it's it's optimism. It's cheerful. It's it's nice. So you can kind of see how the psychology is starting to work on certain websites. And right here, pink right here, feminism, sweetness, uh, innocence, romance. So depending on what your client is looking for, you can kind of understand what colors to start using. Uh, right here, um, they have uh, blue. And blue is trust, security, stability, peace, and calmness, like Dell, American Express, uh, Chase as well. A lot of banks use blue. Here we have gray, such as like something like more, um, more of like techno technological, futuristic. Like here you have Tesla, you have Apple, you have Mercedes Benz. And it's so funny because, you know, now that I see these colors, now I, I, I'm like, yeah, that's true, you know, but when I look at these sites, I don't really even think about it. I just say, oh, they're using a green scheme. I don't know why, but they're using that green scheme or a red scheme. But now I can really understand why they use these certain colors. Also black, like right here we have Chanel. And you can kind of see how they have black on white. And this is like elegance. You know how all those like people that like expensive stuff or like, oh, like, like the black card, Visa black card. See, that is a good example. They have like a black card where it has like an unlimited spending power. Chanel right here has this black and white kind of uh, scheme right here and also Rolls Royce. They actually have their logo is black with like a white with like a gray and their website right here, they're kind of using like this black on white scheme. So I just thought it was a really interesting article and um, I linked this in the description below. Also right here you have um, what men and women believe as well. So right here, women's most loved colors are blue, purple and green. And then the ones they don't like are orange, brown, and gray. Now, this is a broad generalization. So this might not be 100% true, but it's safe to say that if you're running a business and you're thinking what colors to use, you can probably use these colors as well. Like personally, I like blue. I like green. I like black. Orange and purple. I don't really like orange and purple, to be honest. Brown, 
I don't think brown looks good on a website. That's why probably when you see all these websites right here, you don't really see brown on a lot of websites because it just doesn't really fit the criteria. You know, maybe if a website made a specific brown niche, like a dirt company or a trucking company, that would make some, some sense, but I would never use brown like if I wanted to make a website from scratch. So I'll go ahead and leave this in the description below. I just thought it was really interesting. And um, uh, there's also another article I'll link. It's by Neil Patel. He also talks about a lot of the colors to use, the psychology of colors and sub, uh, subconsciously how you're already thinking of things like in your brain without even, without thinking it, but your brain is going like, okay, it's red, it's time to go, it's time to buy something, it's time to sign up for Wells Fargo, you know, or or blue, it's like, oh, it's it's Chase, it's such a, such a trustworthy website, I'll go ahead and register for a site. So just depending on their approach, you can kind of see how people react to these colors. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this video, make sure to like it, you don't have to, but um, I just thought this was a great topic to talk about because I've seen people talk about, um, you know, let's take a look at GoFundMe. What, what color is GoFundMe? Let's go look at GoFundMe. GoFund, I wanna say it's poppy green. Yeah, GoFundMe right here. So GoFundMe is a website where people donate money. So again, they're using the green scheme right here. They might be using a blue scheme. No, just green, but that's fine because you can kind of see it's like, oh, it's welcoming, it's green has to deal with money, charity, et cetera. So uh, it's a great article and I'll put it in the link below along with the other article from Neil Patel. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope this was helpful. I hope you can apply this to your, to your skills of WordPress when you're making websites, all right? I will see you all in the next video.